Six, seven. Drag him in! Go on! It's not like a pedal box, you know. I'm a videographer, not a recoveryographer. Where do you want it? I don't like being this side of the camera. Do you reckon it'd be easier to do it in the road? Be quick, though. <laughs> yeah, boy. It won't even be in the car, mate. Find it to do the Guinness World Book of Records. Whoa, f this, man. Is that tight or is that loose? You can't say that! I think you know, Mitch, you want to say that. I want to punch a couple tank in the face. Yeah. How much copper is in that skip? Stay tuned to find out. Come on, Wildo, let's go. I just called you, uh, I just called you Wildo. But it sounds like Dildo, I think it was funny. Uh, welcome back to Scrapping Diaries. And as you saw in the last episode, I became a mechanic. And today, we're going to mechanics to pick up a vehicle. Come on, we'll jump in. Hop in. Let me put the on. Safety first. What a mess. Doodly doo. Oh. How many vans? One, two, three. Belt will. Oh, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, <laughs> ten. This is the problem now we've got, though. Come on, George. Vamos, vamos. I lost count as well. I did lose count. But that is quite the van, quite the array of uh, scrappers. Literally. To the end of the road. To the end of the road. So you know when you, like, you, 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 know when you, uh, you look at the, a rainbow, right? At the end of it, there's a pot of gold. Yeah? Yeah. Now there's like a pot of it's light right. iron. Nice. Yeah. Speed and power. So anyway, welcome back to the Scrap King Diaries. Now, what has changed for HW Training Metals since last week? Not a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot. Yeah. Look, it's Margit's dad. So Margit, right, the customer that used to come in the trolley. Margita! <laughs> Go on, my son! Drag him in! Go on! Uh, Vamanos! Margit, uh, who had the trolley before, works for us. Great, great customer, OK? No, I'm, not, I'm not used to clutches. Uh, found a gold chain in the yard the other week, yeah? Gave it to Lee said, Lee, can you, you know, go and wait in for me? So Lee has brought this gold chain to the office. <laughs> and then we've said, all right, yeah, gold chain weighs nine grams or something, blah, 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 this, that, the other. So we bought it off him for like a, a hundred and something quid. And then that evening, the same evening, Lee has got home, realised that his own chain had come off his neck. <laughs> and he's weighed his own chain in. Because Mark get handed it in to him. He weighed his own chain in. <laughs> And it wasn't until he went back into the cat office he found his Birmingham City pendant on the floor, he realised his chain was gone. How funny is that? He weighed his own chain in. <laughs> and we just had um, a lady come and do a site to visit from the BMRA, which is the British Metal Recycling Association, to talk about all the dangers and legislation coming into force regarding lithium ion batteries and how to recycle them. So, EcoBat in Wensbury. I would like to visit and discuss the recycling of lithium ion batteries and what can be done about it. So if anybody is watching this and has a link to that site, please comment and DM me at Harry Turner on Instagram or WhatsApp the office number. Should be on pussy here. Because I would love to come and do an informative video about how to or how lithium ion batteries will be recycled because the dangers of them are getting worse and more frequent with more scrapyard fires, which unfortunately scrapyards are sort of getting the blame for, but it's nothing really to do with us because we can't sort of police what comes in. So we can only do our best. As long as we are members of firms like the BMRA, we will uh, have all of the up-to-date knowledge to help us tackle it. <gasps> there they are. Ooh. So intersection. We've popped up in the middle of your screen now at the start because what we're going to ask you to do is hit the subscribe button if you're watching this. If you are watching this video and think, you know what? All right, this is it's going well. I didn't know that, that much about scrap yards before. And if you wanted to watch a previous video and you'd be like, oh my god, scrap metal, you can earn money at it, and anyone can do it. Wow, what a bloke! Or just you think I'm really handsome and you just think I need to see him every every Sunday at five o'clock. Hit the subscribe button.
build our channel for us and then hopefully we can do more cool things. Maybe some collaborations with other people. Oh, okay, that was not meant to fall off. So here we have it. We're at Planet Clutch. Also, you know you can't fit both on at the same time, right? I'm driving the one back. Who is? I am. So well, you can. That's why there's two of us. Oh, you never said that. I didn't need to, because you've got a driving on. <laughs> Fight Andy. So what are you doing? Ringing for help? Yes. Hello, Harry. Andy, how do you get the right hand side, uh, the right hand side ramp to come down? Through one of the holes in the ramp. And you have to pull it down. There's a knack, mate, and you haven't heard what the knack is, I have. Yeah, you push it in, push it down, and then pull it towards you. Excuse me, important business calls. I'll take this and you do that. Hello! I've got to do it. Yeah. Oh, it's not even got, it's not got a, it's not got a uh, pedal box, you know. Oh, it's got no clutch. Like, look, there's no, look. <laughs> Oi! I was fully expecting you to f up. Oi! I'd smash that then. I didn't, even, stall I didn't it. even look if they were wide enough or anything. Yeah, but I'd already started moving then. I've got no clutch to check, so I had to just, had to just go for it. Yeah. Spence, I did that, no problem, mate, straight on. I'll charge you a five each, get rid of these. Yeah, I can't eat that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what they are these days. Uh, a couple of quid. Yeah, about two, 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 three quid a piece, I think. You know, but we have like 100 at a time, so it probably adds up. Yeah, it does. Thanks, mate. Is there an act to get it back in with or not? Huh? Is there an act to get it back I'm in? I'm just excited to see you uh, strap the car down. It's only mattress straps, it's fine. Bosh. I like how he locked it overnight for security reasons. Oh. Mm. Go on. Yeah, it's just a goer. Don't need a coil pack. But that is a f fluid clutch. Is there any clutch related problems? Planet clutch? Neutrals? Um, I'm going to get the coil pack now. One more that way. Do you want to try the recovery? I mean, I can give it a go. Last week I drove and crashed the tiny little board next. I mean, how do I not crash into anything behind me? I'm a videographer, not a like, whatever this is. Recoveryographer. Where do you want it? Huh? Where do you want it? That'll do, let's get it off quick and then you can move the recovery. Doodly doo. I don't like being this That's side of the camera. Experience. I don't like being this side of the camera. No, I don't like driving recovery trucks. Yep. Oh, God. <laughs> right, hold on. Would you like a hand? Yeah, please. Huh? You, you look quite tired. Huh? You look quite tired. Why? Tired. Oh. <sighs> Well, line me up. Uh, yeah, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, just go back straight. Yeah, you're fine. Just keep it straight. Oh my god. <laughs> you move there and scrap that is now. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> How are you? Do you reckon it'll be easier to do it in the road? That'd be quick though. <laughs> yeah, boy. Get it all ready to go, and then last minute we'll just pull the pole and back it down. Yeah, done, mate. It's done, done. That's what we'll do. Bosh. Yeah, I'm going to show you this. Will, follow. A I like the green, blue, red. Green, blue, red, man. Nice. Like Italian. No, we don't need that. It's a fantastic idea, mate, but I'll show you. Follow me. Right, Andy. My air compressor yeah. for the horn. Yeah. And this is my curved light bar for the front of it. Bigger than the car. It won't be bigger than the car, mate. And I'll show you why. So all I want in life is my nice light bar on the micro. 
Now, this isn't my microphone, but we'll use it as a... Oh, for sake, double whammy, man, on the packaging. No. Perfect. Don't mm, me. Fit like a glove, that will. Yeah, let's hope this have a look. I don't know whether it's curved or not, I can't remember. I can't remember what I ordered. It's been in my house for about a month. My car's been scrapped. Nice. Is it a curved one? Yeah, it's curved and it's got a thing there, man. So this is perfect. It's only that big. It's only tall, yeah. yeah, it's only a dinky one. A dinky little light bar. What a massive box for such a small light bar. It's like most things. I thought you had spotlights. Yeah, they're in there. Where? Look, pop one. Spotlights Yeah. And they're for the grill. They're for the front end massive, man. It's going to be blinding people's just whole beings. And what are you having them like headlights? Or yeah, passive? headlights, man, the whole lot. And the light bar to the headlights. Obviously full beam, though, not the half beam. It's going to be brighter than your future. Mm. So, yeah. We're going to Ireland now. The, the dream has all changed. No more Europe. I think we need to explain what's happening. With bangers? Yes. Oh. Just give it a quick 30 second summary. Quick 30 second summary. Out of the six lads that are going, uh, four have children, including myself. We had a seventh driver who's cancelled already because he breeds peregrine falcons for a living. And apparently he needs to feed them during his season or whatever. So he can not come, then Poxy can't come. And then I said, well, We've all spent the money on the cars, so we might as well use them at some point. So instead of going in August now to go to like Europe and do a mad one, we're going to do that in 2025. We might do it a bit earlier on in the year. And then just for the weekend, we're going to go around Ireland to them. So when it comes to raising money for charity and that, because the challenge isn't as big, because it'd be like a three day trip, we're not going to do it, I don't think. We will. I mean, it's, it's hard not to say you're going to raise money for charity because it sounds like, oh, why? It's a, it's a good cause. But the main one around Europe, that sort of takes us like 10 days. It was going to be like an actual challenge. So uh, I don't think it'd be worth the three days. You know what I mean? I don't want people to be paying for us to have a jolly around Ireland for three days and just have 73 pints of Guinness. Oh, I didn't tell you either. I've signed it to do a Guinness World Book of Records record. What? I don't know if I can say it because I just want to nick it. But then I've already I've, I've paid for the application process on Sunday. Oh, my God. To drink 10 pints of beer, cider, or the liquid is unspecified, yet it will be alcoholic. Probably beer, probably cider if not like cider. And then do 5K run. <laughs> Both in under an hour. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? That sounds quite cool, yeah. 10 pints is a lot, though. When is this happening? Because I need well, to it, film it. They can take, it can take up to 12 weeks for, just, for them to just, just to check the application. OK, but I will be filming it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Perfect. I think I was sick. Also, we need to explain to the viewers, because there was a lot of comments. After we stopped filming last week, you did, in fact, change the coil pack on your mic. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did, yeah. You did. Yeah, so we changed the coil pack regardless of the comments. Thank you very much. If anybody wants to come on Bangers of Cash Island and just follow us around fixing things, that'd be great, because <laughs> none of us have got any idea of what we're doing when it comes to mechanics. Growing up in a scrapyard, you don't like... I, was, I never had the need or, the, or, or anything to, like, learn how to fix cars. It was just smash them up. You're good at breaking things. Yeah, 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 that sort of stuff. But I never had to like, and obviously when we did, even when we did the car spare side of it, it was just taking things off. We never had to fix anything. So it wasn't like, right. Breaking cars, breaking hearts of women that can't have you. Yeah. And men. Yeah. Gilfs, old women, young women. Okay, so the uh, front loader's back from TDL. It's come back from Briss, or wherever the main place is. And obviously because of the queue that we showed you earlier, we do not have any space in the yard or even outside of the yard at the minute to unload it. So we're going to block the road five minutes, just whack it off, drive it in, bish bash bosh, done. Oh, and I'm meeting an exporter at 9 a.m. tomorrow to discuss Ali exporting. So uh, he's already given me preliminary, preliminary prices on certain grades and the markup can be fantastic. So we're going to have a chat, find out what the crack is, and then we might be going to look at another machine wheel in a few weeks. Not nothing major, but uh, something to help us do that. Plan is, if this comes off, this the new site, we could process materials there and save doing it on this site, freeing up a lot more space. So you can imagine this site without the need for the container tilter or the electric motors or the brake this, and then hopefully if we can do the alley side of it, all that can be moved. There we go. All right, I better go and help. Yeah. The thing is, I can't drive that, so... Well, I can, but like, I don't want it. <laughs> Have you driven one of them? Yeah. Oh, have you? All the time. Oh. <laughs> Should you drive it? I can drive it if you want. No, let him do it. Oh. Where's the key? 
Actually, I ain't got a clue, Will. I actually ain't got a clue how to start it. <laughs> Once it's going, I can do it. Oh, I don't like this at all. Whoa, f this, man. This is f***ing raving. It's so responsive. Oh, I'm not enjoying this, Will. This wheel is a serious damage machine, man. Just ram everything, it's great. Sound as a pound. There we go. Oh, bash. Bro, look for that way. Just, uh, Cheers, drive nice one, mate. Oh, there we go then, bash. The front motor's back. See you next time. Another. 40 square foot we can't use now. <laughs> the brake discs are literally overflowing. Yeah, I know, you can't sell them, it's not funny. I bet there's 300 tonne there. You said that last week, so probably 320. 350 tonne now, if that. I mean, as in, as in well, actually, you'd be shocked at what we've got in the yard. I bet, I bet we buy 20 tonne a day and what can we do? Hey, listen, the export that comes tomorrow, they might suddenly go, I'll give you 500 pounds a tonne from. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Sin a bit, sin a bit. Oh, can't the door. Oh, there we go. Look at this. Fan bloody tastic. Fan tasticio. So what, what's in your kit then? I don't know. You bought a service kit last week, so what have you just, <laughs> what have you just bought now? Brakes, spark plugs, coil pack for the other one. That's it. Beautiful sound, right? <laughs> I thought I'd seen the last of this last week. Yeah, but look at the look at the the, the, the amount of panic I have now. So I'm professional. Is that tight or is that loose? Oh, there's one in there. <laughs> <laughs> 32 valve quad can this engine. That's not the right screw. No, it's not, is it? No. My uncle was attacked by uh, uh, with a coil pipe once. Honestly, a, gig, a guy came up behind him. Bosh. Straight over the head. Crazy, right? Yeah. It'll work, don't I? See, Will? You can all laugh at my uh, buying toolkits and things, but bosh, she's a goer. Apparently, you need to learn how to fasten your high vis vest because it's never on straight. No, it is on straight, man. Still, I mean, nearly. Well, it's harder than it looks to do that, you know. <laughs> get it straight, especially because obviously looking from this angle. Yeah, uh, it's nearly there. Oh, that'll do, lads. That'll do. I ain't putting no more on it. Oh man, it's right. There for, it's there for safety, not fashion. <laughs> hey, look, got my Apple Watch back on because of the old weight gain over Dubai and that. Back on the fitness hype. Couple of weeks, six packs out my brains. Back in it. Jeff Hedge. Actually, actually, oh, whoa, 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 nice little. I have found a uh, company that will be, we are, how do I say it? Site two, which is happening imminently, and maybe even site three. We've, yeah, we've actually, we've actually bid on, and they have gone through technically. Well, you know, the, the, the buyers and the sellers have all agreed, and it's just sort of ring and roll. Yeah, we might have two. We might have bought two sites. So we want to do the. We want to focus uh, on things like Ali and the export side of it. Uh, we found a machine that's going to help with that. Uh, made inquiries today, so today's Thursday. So I'm hoping that by like you know when Will comes back Tuesday next week, we'll know exactly what the crack is, and then if I can talk about it, that sort of stuff. Pricing wise, in the last 48 hours, how, nothing's changed. Steel's now hit like a bottom. Uh, and the coppers, the LME is about 6.7, 6.7 plus. So, you know, you're paying 63, 64 for dry bright, 98% tube, 6,000 pound a ton, which is a lot of money considering that, like two weeks ago, I was paying like 56, 55 for it. You know, it's just been a massive change. Here he is, look at him, look at him. What's it like knowing that I've done a full day now without vaping? Why is today dragging so long? Because you put snap vaping. You reckon that's what it is? Nice though. Oh, I just love it. I've got a brand new one. I've got an emergency one in my bag just in case. Why don't you just give it me? Nope. I've quit as well now, so well, you're. I will. And he's quit. And he's quit. quit. Have you quit because he's quit? Uh, he yeah. actually was a very inspirational part of it, to be fair, yeah. I will, I will say that. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Don't say anything. Oh, where's that going? It's there. Who ordered it? No, not yet. I haven't even seen it yet. 
Daddy said yeah. No, yeah, no. He doesn't know. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, so, so we are. You can't say that. I just said can't but, say that. So here we have it, the Taroni Saurus. Uh, we haven't really covered anything about this area for a while, and it's a lot nicer now that the yard has had a good few months of like blasting. There's the only way to say it. We have no free scrap left. Well, who's phoning me now? And then back to it. So, the yard has had a right blast over the last few weeks. Um, and obviously with the weather getting better now, uh, and the lads that are working, say five till seven, every single evening, all of the scrap is cut up and gone. We've got hundreds of tons of one and two going out a day now, which is fantastic. And we can get all of the, the we get like 20 vans in the morning, which is just amazing. The only problem we've had with the shear at the moment is a wire has been broken twice in about a week. Um, only a sensor wire stops the, the, the RAM extended, like telling the machine that it's extended for it to come back. Obviously, Knox is back an hour because we have to go and buy, uh, get a new one and fix it, things like that. But with hassles now doing the maintenance on the machine, it's being handled really efficiently and quite quickly. So there's absolutely zero complaints. Now that's one of those problems where there's no one's fault, it's not the machine's fault, it's not a, the operator's fault. You know, these things happen. Um, so that is it, touch wood. Yeah, it's everything's running smoothly, even the Atlas cranes, which I want to just address a comment in a minute about. Everything's well, they've all just had the services done. Um, so if you guys want to drop a comment, and if I can get TDL out, perhaps, to show you guys what would you want to do, Will? Like, uh, uh, how the service, what the sort of maintenance thing is on a, on, a, on a crane, that sort of style of it. Yeah. Because I want to address a comment, and the comment is this. Where's your phone, Will? Show me, get up. Also, i got one thing to address. One thing to address. What's that massive crater there? Oh, it's where the loads get tipped on that. Like, it's just... There's, the, there's, a, there's a hole over there as well that needs to fill it in. But we're going to wait till the summer comes, so it's dry. Then we're going to cut this bay out and redo it. Cut that bay out and redo it. But because the yard is, you have to leave concrete, like decent stuff to set for like two days. Is this where they fake the moon landings? Yeah. 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 I thought the I'd, like I thought I'd seen space. it on telly in the 60s. Huh? I thought I'd seen this on yeah. telly in the 60s. Atlas is complete junk. You better call your broker and try and get that centre bargain back. People only buy these when they can't afford a real machine, probably worth more in scrap, send it through the shredder. Uh, and this is from at scrap block. Just a complete. Mongol. <laughs> He's just a. All right, scrap life. What's it like waking up in the morning and breathing oxygen, knowing that you're sealing it from the rest of the world? What's it like being an oxygen thief? Um, just a ridiculous comment. I will say, brands of machines like Atlas, Cenobog, and Libra. If you spoke to every scrap yard and every scrap leader in the country, each one is going to prefer one of the brands. And it's not even down to. Well, it's just like some people like Mercedes, some people like BMW. Some, we've had a really, really good experience with both Senderboggen and Atlas. We cannot fault either brand. When Hassel stopped servicing Senderboggens, because we were such a fan of Hassel servicing, that's what made us have a Senderboggen. TDL have come on board now, and they now provide us our cranes. Their service is 10 out of 10, and the machines are 10 out of 10. So to say something ridiculous like, oh, you can't afford a Senderboggen, this is just a stupid comment to make. However, I have said that, I have heard that Libras are the best, but they are very expensive to maintain, so that does come into it. TDL, a pin goes in the grab, you phone them up, the next day it's there. It's amazing. And then I heard a rumor that some special mills or something are open in the UK soon. I need to get more info on it, which might change the grades of one and two over in the next 12 months, which is something that we are waiting. The BMRA lady that came the other day is, uh, was informing me. I'm just waiting for some more information to come in on it. But yeah, like everything is always adapting and changing. And I think people are after scrap that has no, like, I think it's gonna get to the point eventually where any contamination is like at a grade and then clean stuff goes through. That's what I think. And then nobody's, everyone's just gonna want go and support in the melts and that's it. Not bad, everything's running smoothly and uh, my seasonal depression is just lifting off me and I'm very happy about it. Come on, Willie, let's go over there. How are you going, Rich? You want to say hello? Yeah, I'll go now. Where are you going? No, no, everyone's missing in the comments, so we'll just come and see if you're okay.
your pal. <laughs> just tell everyone how you're doing. Oh, right, let me call you. Yeah. Um, been fantastic. Very busy. That's it. There you go, everybody. People only tune in now for like a hope of seeing Rich. I think so. Yeah. A glimmer of hope. Like a nugget. Oh, and also you need to repeat the following phrase. In the last episode, uh, the video was watched by 63% of people who are not sub subscribed. Oh, really? Well, um, is that consistent? No, but like our videos. Oh, no, our videos, that when they go out, all of the views, 60% are from the people that aren't actually subscribed to the channel, so you need to ask people to subscribe. Okay, well, um, if you watch them, please subscribe because it um, really helps. What does it do? Well, yeah, please subscribe does. and you it get does. to see him, isn't it? Yeah. It does. And out of the, uh, if so Harry it's... gets to 50,000 subscribers, I'll rejoin and see him in every episode. Every episode. What? So I've done all the hard work, build the channel up, and just float in for the success. <laughs> Well, now that's you might get <laughs> uh, The pile's nearly gone. Huh? The pile's nearly gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't believe you've blasted through this. Absolutely smashed it. That's why we're trying to get all the bins out now. It's Thursday. I want to finish the week strong. Get everything out today and tomorrow. But one thing that we're most struggling for is uh, the lorries to collect stuff. So we've got like three or four loads of batteries now. If we, if, if, you know, if, if, the, if the lorry, if the, if the lorry should come and collect them, I'll, I'll get rid of all tomorrow, which is just shame. What we, what Richard said earlier about the uh, like percentage of people that watch the channel. So we'll put this at the very start as well, because what we're going to ask you to do is hit the subscribe button if you watching this, if you are watching this video and think you know what. All right, this is. Uh, you're gonna put this back in at the end then as well. That's uh, going at beginning, end, everywhere. Nice. Every 30 seconds. Every 30 best seconds. For the hell out just, of people. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, so no, please. Uh, right. So this is this yeah. So we had um, some investment people come in, come down yesterday and meet us uh, to help us, like obviously, fund and uh, buy the new premises. Um, and the guy that came down uh, was named Mark. His name was never ever been to like a scrapyard before came in and was like just in absolute awe and shock at one how busy it was it's nice when like people come to visit this site uh, and we get to sort of show off and show people what we do but it's also like the icing on the cake when they come down and it's rammed like a lot of we've had comments before and a lot of people believe that like we make will come on a certain day when we know there's going to be queues it's not the case there is a queue that is how the, this business is it's just busy all the time but we are trying to be as fair as possible with everybody while keeping our interests at heart which is obviously to make money and keep the business going so you know there's always a rock and a hard place with earning money but uh customers seem to be coming back and the repeat business is fantastic uh, anyway so this investment firm was just over the moon and like hopefully we're going to be uh working with them soon which will open up a lot more doors and yeah the scope is endless please try and grasp it but what do they say we'll grasp the ball by the horns but i'm going to grab it by the balls man and f take it for a ride that's what i want to do <laughs> yeah that, that's it that was my inspirational speech of the day. That was good. I'm all fired up now. I want to go and punch a couple of tank in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go and punch it. Where is, it? Where is one? Got a couple of tank? Yeah. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Lee, I'm really busy. I'm about to beat up a tank. Yeah. <laughs> ah, that'd be hand. <laughs> ah, I feel way better. Your hand is red. Ah! You're really going to regret that. Oh, I'll give it a good whack then as well. I know. This area is... Well, look, let's be honest. Henry used to be our burner, our resident burner, Henry did. Well, unfortunately, he can't, you know, he can't do, well, a full week. So he's, we haven't seen him for about three months, which is a shame. He used to cover this, so it built up a bit. We were hoping that he'd come back to work, but he's obviously found other things to do, uh, not work-related. Um, so we've just got another burner in, like last week or so, we've been Pecking at it a bit. He's... Hey, Vamanos, babe! Come on, let's load it up! Yeah, so that's it. We're back on the old uh, burning, sorting pile. And then all of this is just material that comes in, contaminated, that needs the oxacetylene bottles on it. 
So for example, we've got some sort of x-ray type machine that's got a lot of lead on the outside, a bit of stainless, that will be separated. And a lot of it is just things like aircon units and stuff like that that the lads will go through. And that's sexy, isn't that a sexy visual? You will not believe how much value is in that grab there when he lifts it up. Bosh, look at that. 98% tube. The value in it of it is astronomical. So drop a comment, find out how much 98% tube you think that we have sold today, and I'll give you a rough idea. It's between two and three ton that it's gone out this afternoon. So please, oh, please, I know we say it all the time, and we're gonna try and figure out different ways to ask you guys to be uh, what's the word I'm looking for, Will? I don't know. Attentive would just be to watch the videos all the way through. You know what? Attentive would just be... Yes. Uh, we want you to participate. So we want you to hit the like button. If you have enjoyed, or if you're watching the first bit of this video and you are actually going, you know what? All right, this is. Hit the subscribe button. We've got 26K now-ish, 25, 26. 22. What? 22. Oh, it's 22.6. Yeah. Point, yeah, so, yeah, so we've got, uh, which I don't think is a massive amount of subscribers, to be fair, and I'd like it to grow, but I need you guys to do that with me. Um, and tell me what you guys want and how we can improve as a channel, as a business, and then we will uh, grow all, all round, you know what I mean? This time next year, I'm a mega yacht, man, selling out 100 million quid because you guys have helped me. That's all I want in life. One of the, one of the old geezers, uh, barbecue patties on my super yacht. That's it. Nine birds, but yeah. To worry that one after. When he does a grab over there, you should be like, you will not believe how much work. Stay tuned to find out. That can go right at the beginning. Okay. So we're just loading a few ton of 98% tube out at the minute. And as the grabs that you lifted up in the air, should we have a look at it? Wow, copper heaven, lovely. Literally, anyway, so, just do it really short. You're like, you will not okay. believe. So you will, you will not believe as how it's much being picked up. Why don't you shut your <laughs> mouth? I want you to do a real short one and say, stay tuned to find out. Oh, so it goes right at the beginning. Right, how much 98 percent tube is in that grab? It's between. Ah! He's got one more. He's got a couple more to do. Stay tuned to find out. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Ready? Are you ready? Wow. You know, man, that was up the cack and no lead, that was. <laughs> so, um. But now, now that they have stayed tuned. And now that you have stayed tuned, now that you have stayed tuned, I don't know how much you'll be in, so I'll get the invoice back. Well, I'm going to do the invoice. So you'll have to find out on Tuesday as well as, as, well as everybody else.